Hey friends and welcome to a video that I hope I'm never going to repeat again. <laughs> so I managed to sprain my ankle, it's something I haven't done before and it's something that I am not enjoying the slightest. Firstly it was an absolute ordeal even sitting down on my son's climbing frame, I don't know if you can see that, um, and basically what I plan in this video is basically just like showing you guys how I'm still uh, partly mothering. <laughs> My husband has taken on a lot of responsibility and duties that I usually do, but basically how I'm continuing to sort of function and continue mothering and doing the usual stuff, but in a crippled state. So basically it's day two of having a sprained ankle and basically I've been resting it as much as I can I've had ice on it so I've been using the acronym you know rice um, rest ice compression elevation so I've been trying to do all of those things in the last 48 hours and I've tried to not put any pressure on it at all so actually I'm a little bit scared about putting pressure on it because like when I first sprained my ankle I was hopping around I lost my balance and I basically put my foot down and the pain was absolutely so excruciating that like I couldn't breathe like I had I don't know whether I had a panic attack but like it was so painful and scary and like I was just on the floor writhing in pain basically but um yeah, so I don't want to do that again. I think I might try tomorrow to just put my foot down and see whether I can like, like not put too much pressure on it, but hop around a little bit easier. Because at the moment I've been either bum shuffling, scooting around, I've been on my hands and knees trying to do stuff, but I'm sure you will see all of that during this video anyway. So let me take you through the next few days with me in my absolute chaos and dramatic life there is at the moment. I realised I didn't tell you what I did with my ankle. I sprained it accidentally simply by stepping down into the porch and who would have thought that even walking around is dangerous. <laughs> As you can see I'm just folding up some washing, dried and washed which is great. I just wanted something to do that wasn't sitting down on the sofa on my laptop. So I'm on my hands and knees or rather just my knees at the moment and basically just sorting those bits out which I will actually she put into all the right bits and the right rooms in a second as well so then later on I'll catch up with you and talk about work and how that's going and then you'll see me playing with my son and doing the usual mother motherly routines that I would usually do later on as well
washing away but I've got more washing in the dining room and my husband put another load of washing in um, in the washing machine and yes to be fair he said that he doesn't mind doing any of that but I'm just so sick and tired of just sitting in one place you know when you're ill you don't have the energy but I actually have the energy I just can't move around too much so basically because I've been hopping around so much I'm like sweating and out of breath and when I'm on my knees my knees hurt from just like you being on my hands and knees and like obviously it's quite like we've got hardwood floors especially downstairs and then if I'm hopping around my muscle actually hurts on this leg <laughs> so it's an all-round craziness and yes I've got a crutch that I borrowed from my dad-in-law but I only use it downstairs really because of the hardwood floors and plus like as we've got more carpet and upstairs and stuff I just because I have to like crawl upstairs anyway I just thought it's easier just to like hop around so yeah I'm back to the place where I've been I've, at least I've got my laptop I've done a lot of work and I'm just waiting on some replies to actually do some more work so just waiting on those to continue with that and basically yesterday I ended up just doing like playing some sims because it means that like obviously sitting down not doing much but anyway my toddler's actually um at preschool so he should be back in a couple of hours which I don't know what's what's going to happen like I might get him to play on his own a little bit maybe I'll um crawl around with him we've got a couple of new games coming up as well which I do want to share with you guys too that should be fun <laughs> one of the games we've literally had for years but it was an offer on Amazon so I um I think we bought it but it's it's very much like a numbers game and I he obviously was a bit too young back then but now he saw it and he was like oh my goodness he can't wait to play so we'll play that later on as well and the other one is something that was gifted to us and that's a mic and he loves a good mic his other one broke so I can't wait to actually share this one with him it's going to be an absolute hit during Christmas as well with my nieces come over so yeah I can't wait to like try that out later on as well so yeah we'll see how it goes we're gonna have some fun when my son comes back gonna do some work hopefully got some replies gonna do some more washing or rather put some more washing away and we'll see how it goes I can put dirt in there. And I said, no, it's the sweeties. Sweeties, isn't it? Put dirt. <laughs> wow, oh, look, wow. Wonder Witch. Wonder Witch. Wow, look at this. That's good. You just put a new one. Daddy, can you put water in there? Yeah. Can you put juice in there? Yeah, yeah. put juice in there. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Get boy, come go. Jump in then. <laughs> Hello? So two <laughs> Get closer. and I left you when we had a mini party with this. I wanted to actually talk about this a little bit more. I couldn't hear anything and I'm sure you guys wouldn't have heard anything either over my son singing into this. So thank you to the team for gifting us this. We absolutely can't wait to use it over the Halloween season and during Christmas as well. My nieces are going to absolutely love this and we're having mini parties each time we do. So first thing to mention is the fact that this comes apart and it's a bit like a disco ball. It's a USB connector, which is awesome. And as you can see, there was like um, a, a, what do you call it? A charger. What? The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. <laughs> so I've turned it on and it says that the Bluetooth is ready to pair so you can pair this with your phone. But basically here is the disco. So it's quite fun because like when you, when it's a little bit darker, you can see it so well. And my son absolutely loved it and all the colors and everything, especially when he's singing into it. Hello. <laughs> and there's loads of basically um, so if you press the M, there's different options. There's like a monster option. You can be like a male voice, a female voice. There's like an alien voice. I call it an alien voice, but it's basically like quite squeaky. So maybe quite mousy. So loads of fun. And you can put the volumes up and down, especially this morning when my son grabbed it again. And I was like, wow, it's like 7 a.m. Like we might wake up the neighbors, put this down quickly. So we put it down using the volume buttons. And yeah, you can like record, play, pause. You've got a play and pause button here. So it's a lot of fun, fun. fun. <laughs> but yeah, it's great for parties. So yeah, we are having fun with this for sure. And I hope that you guys too, I'll make sure to link everything down below in the description box if you wanted to get one as well. So as you guys know, I've actually done my knee in and today I'm a lot more mobile. I don't know if I can like angle you a lot further down. As you can see, the dog's followed me again. But I can actually step on it this time. I am so chuffed. I obviously am not trying to put any pressure on it and I'm like hobbling about, hopping. Um, as long as I don't like try and step over things aka the dog what i tried to do earlier is like step over him uh, and it actually hurt my foot a little bit so i'm not going to do that again the stairs are still a little bit tricky so on the stairs i still have to like bum scoot or use my knees and stuff <laughs> which is not great but at least i'm on my bow and i feel like so relieved that it's like like the third day now i think and basically i'm just a lot more mobile it's a healing world touch word so i'm going to be back to my normal normal self hobbling about but i'll still take you guys along as i hobble around the house and show you guys how i'm getting on but i wanted to show you my dress as well this is one i got from the charity shop from it's actually a b young dress and i added my ralph lauren belt to it 
don't know if you can see much and it's not there you go so basically it's actually nice and perfect for like transitional weather i've got leggings underneath but i'm really happy with this so yeah let's see what we get on with today my toddler has preschool during the afternoon for a few hours so i'm going to get some work done then but in the meantime i will see what we can play got so sick of sitting down and of eating chicken nuggets for dinner I decided I'm going to make sausage casserole and here I am just putting some veggies in I'm cooking like the sausages and onions at the moment all using the fryer by the way we don't have an oven at the house because our kitchen is a very much old very old-fashioned and we are saving up for an extension so we don't want to spend any dime on the one we currently have and um, we're gonna make do for the next year and a half and as you can see I'm using that air fryer to create a sausage casserole and it turned out delicious you'll see my son eating it as well in a bit Another day has gone by and I can actually do stuff that I normally would. I'm very much slow and I do hop around but at least I'm finally moving again. Excuse the noises that the puppy's always making but as you can see I'm not putting too much pressure on it because I don't want to re-injure myself but I've got use of my other leg so i'm going to ask my other half to go on a walk with me later on because i just need to get out and walking i feel like i've put on like five stone already <laughs> just by sitting down a few days but yeah it's worth just getting myself moving but i think that's where i'm going to leave you you saw 
how I've been hopping around. I've been on my hands and knees and just like trying to do my chores and my motherly things, <laughs> play with my son, just with a sprained ankle as well. And I just can't believe that like stepping awkwardly could do that and like immobilize me for like the whole week. Anyway, I'm very glad I've got a supportive husband and family and everything. So I'm very lucky that I could just lay around and do not so much. Um, yeah, so thanks around for sticking around. I hope that you liked the vlog. And the next one is going to be around swapping my wardrobes around. So if you want to stick around, subscribe. I'd love to have you guys along and do like the video if you like it. So thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.